Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. It's a new month, so new hero, though as I record this, it's actually the last day of July, which was Vansky month, and that's fitting because we've got another hero by Vansky. It's Varfa from Crewman's Tale and her companion monkey, Orhu. They are interesting duo who present a lot of interesting options. She is going to be fighting Omega because I have to fight him eventually. If you haven't fought Omega from Sentinels of Earth Prime, number one, he is not a level three villain. He is at least a level four. I consider him one of the three hardest villains villains in the game behind like Oblivion and maybe Celadroc. He is distinctly an end boss, and I'm sorry that I have to run Varfu through this, but somebody's got to do it. Fighting alongside Varfu and Orhu are Captain Thunder's stupid variant, Doc Havoc First Response, and Chrono Range of the Best of Times. We haven't seen him for a while, but I'm getting to the point where canon heroes are meeting up with the ones that I played way too much in the early days of this game, and we're fighting next to the Void because the letters page. All right, so start of the game. Put Omega's villain character card into play, Lord of the Terminus side up. Reveal cards on top of the villain deck until two minions and two breaches are revealed put them into play and shuffle the others so we get two minions and two breaches breaches have 20 hit points just like the ones in the terminus start of the villain turn if there are six breaches in play he wins otherwise if there are two or fewer villain targets in play he flips, so we need to get him down to one non-character target. He only flips once each villain turn. Reduce damage dealt to him by one. Oh, that's right. Do you want to flip him? If there are any breaches in play, he's indestructible. And the villain turn, he hits the highest for number of breaches in play plus one, which actually isn't that bad. I think his damage output gets worse when he flips. I've only fought him a handful of times. So let's check out what he played. Destabilizing incursion, increased damage dealt by Omega by one. I knew there was going to be something like that. These guys do some stuff at the end. These guys do some stuff at the end. And each time a player uses a power, Omega deals the hero character one energy damage. That's bad. That one needs to go first along with the Annihilists. So here we go. Good luck to me. Cosmic Bomb. Omega deals each non-villain target H energy damage. Oof. Destroy a hero ongoing or equipment card. A hero character may deal himself three fire damage if they're dealt damage this way. Destroy a breach. Holy shit. I will take that. So everybody take five. Nothing to destroy. Doc Havoc will hit himself for three and we will just destroy Reality Bleed so we don't have to worry about it. That is a really good trade-off. End of turn he hits the highest four one plus one plus one that's three damage going to captain thunder the annihilists deal the hero target lowest hp to infernal damage that's or who yeah they need to go then destroy hero ongoing or equipment card they really need to go and the omega drones deal the two hero targets with the highest hp three melee damage each that's a lot of damage chrono ranger and doc havoc all right here goes nothing i'm gonna play ionic blast and use the power captain thunder deals the target four lightning damage and then he deals himself two so we'll hit the annihilists and he hits himself and draw a card. If you haven't seen the power on this variant, it's destroy one of your ongoings. Captain Thunder regains two HP and deals a target two lightning damage. I really wish, like, at least the destroy one of your ongoings thing came second, because then you could get the benefit of them at least. But whatever, I can ignore it. Let's start with Doc's Flask. Draw a card. He will pop the Annihilists for one. Draw another card. Chrono Ranger will sudden contract the whole gang. Throw that on the Annihilists. Shuffle and ping the Omega Drone for one. Let's include that on the stabilizing incursion, I guess. Whatever. Draw a card. All right. Or who can take that out? So what else can I do? I'm going to start with Seek. Search your deck or trash for an equipment card and put it into play. Shuffle your deck. I want to grab... Okay, I want a Flare Gun. The Flare Gun says when this card has three tokens, destroy it. Power is Verfa deals a target one projectile damage. Increase the next damage dealt to that target by three. Put a token on this card. I'm going to go ahead and use Orhu's power, which is just go ape. Deal a target two melee damage. We will take out the Annihilists, which lets us take out the Omega Drone. Good work everybody. And now he'll flip. Elemental Awakening. We get Magma's Rage. Second highest for one. That's literally anybody. Let's have it be Chrono Ranger. He doesn't mind taking one damage. All right. Omega flips. And flip to the side. Destroy a breach an ongoing an environment and an equipment card. Okay. So first off, we destroy the breach. That's cool. An ongoing. We've only got one and we've only got two equipment. We can get rid of Elemental Awakening though. That's nice. Start of the villain turn. If he's not flipped this turn, play the top card of the villain deck and then he flips again. He only flips once each villain turn. Increase damage dealt to him by two. So this is when we've got him on the ropes. And the villain turn, he deals each non-villain target two energy damage. So yeah, his, his damage output goes up, but also this is when you can really hurt him. Plays Omega Blast, deals the two hero targets the highest HP, three fire damage each, and then he gets to discover a breach. So that is Captain Thunder and Doc Havoc. There it is. Time Loop Portal. Each time a minion is destroyed, put onto this card. At the end of the villain turn, put the topmost card on this card into play. That one's actually not that bad. As breaches go, this one's quite all right. So we can ignore it and just focus on Omega for a round. So everybody take two, or who is almost dead, and that's it. It is a good time for Thunder Punch. 
he deals a target one melee, two lightning, and three sonic. Make that three melee, four lightning, and five sonic, which, give me a second, that's 12 damage to Omega. That's a good way to start off. Now we can use his power so he can heal two. Deal a target two, make that four lightning damage. Draw a card. I like it. Hmm, unstable serum? Sounds good. I want to do syringe darts, I think, and just have him... Yeah, he can actually hit both of these, so four damage to Omega, two damage to the Breach. Draw a card. Chrono Ranger is definitely going to displace Armory for the bow. I am not going to waste an opportunity like this. Ping Omega for three, and then we'll hit him for three projectile and three infernal damage. Nice. Draw a card. All right, so I wanted to play this, which is why I got the flare gun, to my side. The first time Varfa deals damage each turn, you may use Orfu's innate power. The power on this is if Orfu is incapacitated, flip him, restore him to 6 HP, and Varfa deals herself 3 irreducible psychic damage. So let's use the flare gun. Varfa deals a target 1 projectile damage. Increase the next damage dealt to that target by 3. Put a token on this card, so she'll hit Omega for 3. We can use Orhu's power, which will hit him for 2, 3, 4, 7. Token on the flare gun, and draw a card. I like it. Look at that, we've done... All Almost 40 damage to him in one turn, but when he flips, it's going to suck. <laughs> Shifting biomes comes out. Second highest is actually Varfa. Darn, that's almost the breach. Okay, we get a biome. It is Savannah Nocturna. Ooh, increased damage dealt by the three targets, the lowest HP by two. So that is Magma's Rage and Orhu if he doesn't die, and either Doc Havoc or Varfa. It might as well be Varfa, because I'm definitely going to have her dealing some damage. All right, start of turn, he's not flipped, so we play the top card, and then he flips. Zone of Frailty, damage dealt by him is irreducible. That's fine, I don't care about that. Reduce damage dealt to him by one. He does not win, so we play a card. Omega Blast. It's the two highest for three each. That's Captain Thunder and Chrono Ranger. And he gets another breach for some reason. Terminus Drain. Villain targets are immune to damage from environment cards. Each time an environment card is destroyed, each villain target regains two HP. This can be really bad in some environments. Oh, speaking of which, that should have gone away. That's also not that bad, but he is going to hit the highest for four, and that is Doc Havoc. All right, let's do Charged Field. At the start of your turn, draw a card, then destroy this card. Reduce damage dealt to hero targets other than Captain Thunder by two. I am going to skip his power, because otherwise I would have to destroy that. Oh yeah, all HP recovery is increased by one. Let's Cauterize. Hmm. Okay, which of these do I need to get rid of the most? Probably the time loop portal, because that will become an issue eventually. But that being said, I'm going to heal Orhu for three, and I'm also going to heal Doc Havoc for three. Draw a card. Jim wants his hat. I guess I'll ping that portal. And then let's do by any means. Uh, I'm going to hit the portal for one and one. Draw a card. Hmm, I want to destroy an environment target. Let's do Crush. Orhu deals a target, three melee damage. Until the end of your next turn, increase damage dealt by Orhu by one. So it's going to be five to, oh, the breach, plus one damage on top of his damage. We'll go ahead and use the Flare Gun again. Mark that with a three. And then we can use Orhu's power, which is going to be five plus three, eight damage. That breach is destroyed. Draw a card. Farfa and Orhu doing work. All right. Oh, he doesn't keep that. That's good. So he's going to do four damage to Varfa, unfortunately. Increase this thing by one. So now the three lowest are Magma's Rage, Devouring River, unfortunately, and still Orhu. Let's the top card of the environment deck. It is not a biome. It is the Void Form Husk. Thank goodness. Omega does not flip. He plays the inevitable result. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a breach, put it into play. If not, discard it and put an Omega drone from the trash into play. Ah, cool. It is not a breach. There is an Omega drone in the trash. If no targets under play this way, well, they did, so suck it. Glad I got rid of that minion suck breach. All right, he hits the highest for three. That is anyone but Varfa and Orhu. All right, damage reduced, dealt to them is reduced by two. Let's not forget that. I put the thing right there. Let's not have it be Captain Thunder. How about that? Let's see, how much are these guys doing? They're also dealing three, so it doesn't matter. All right, so hit Doc Havoc for one, and then the Omega drones. I'm sorry, that is actually three. So we'll have that go to Captain Thunder. Are they nemeses? Oh, they are, shit. So that three damage hit should have done three extra damage. He should have one less HP. Okay, and then the Omega Drones will hit Die Havoc and Chrono Ranger for one each. That's not bad. Draw a card, destroy this card. I'm going to do Arcing Bolts. Captain Thunder deals each non-hero target two lightning damage. So actually two to Omega. And then I can actually use his power, destroy nothing, heal three. This is Savannah Nocturna. Deal a target two lightning damage. Let's hit Magma's Rage. We need to get rid of him. Draw a card. So the question is, do I want to increase... HP recovery even more? I think the answer is yes. So field dressing, everybody heal two. 
and then off of that I will play Rapid Regen, which is hilarious. Syringe darts hit the drones for two and then heal Orhu back to full. Nice. Draw a card. All right, I think it is time for a sudden contract. Let's do Ranger's Mark first, because I just realized I can the whole gang and make things happen. Ping the Omega Drone for one, they're destroyed, and then I can kill Magma's Rage with the whole gang. That's really nice. And now we can do Sudden Contract. Grab Ultimate Target, because why wouldn't I? All right, and he's got by any means, so we should have one less HP. Shuffle, ping him for, so one, two, three, two. Let's do four damage to him. That's cool, draw a card. Let's go Seeking Another Equipment card. Let's try one of her traps. Start with Lightning Trap. Whenever a card enters play in this card's play area, Varfa may deal each non-hero target in that play area one Lightning Damage. If you do, move this card to your play area. At the end of your turn, you may move this card to any play area. So I'll be putting that in the Villain's thing real quick here. All right, I'm gonna Flare Gun. Four reduced to three damage at Omega, plus three to the next hit on him, or who's gonna do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight damage to him. That is ridiculous. Draw a card and we'll stick the lightning trap in the villain play area. You know, I thought having a hero with two character cards against Omega was going to be a bad thing. And it's not so far. <laughs> Serpent comes into play. Hey buddy, how you doing? The three lowest now are unfortunately not Varfa, but Serpent. I'll have to try healing him. Yeah, discard the top card. It is a biome. Oh no. Three non-spirit targets, the lowest HP for four cold damage each. That is... Or who? Varfa and Captain Thunder. And now we have to do this. At least target with an odd amount of HP, one toxic damage. Now Serpent healed, so he gets hit. Poor Captain Thunder. <laughs> That's it. Nothing was destroyed. Okie dokie. All right, Omega does not flip. Augmentation portal. Increased damage dealt by minions by one. Reduced damage dealt two minions by one. Okay, we can work on that one. He hits the highest for four. That is, let's say, Doc Havoc. Chrono Ranger will hit him also for four. And that's... It. Oh, right, and that came into play, so Farfa's dealing the damage. Yeah, so I can hit everything here for one, including an actual one to Omega, and that moves back to Varf and Orhu's play area. Okay, I'm gonna do Shock and Awe. Captain Thunder deals a target three lightning damage. How about Ona Omega? Four lightning damage. Everybody else can draw a card. And then I'll use his power. He heals four, and he'll deal something to make that three lightning damage to Omega. Draw a card. Field dressing again, because Orhu took damage. Everybody heal three. Oh, no, it's just two now. That's right, we don't have the double... HP increase, but that's still fine. Everybody heal two. And off of that, I will play Unstable Serum. A target gains two, make that three HP to Orhu, who's back to full. Syringe darts. Let's hit Omega for two, and let's hit Serpent for two, increase that to three healing. Draw a card, and we'll use Unstable Serum to get rid of River. Oh, wow. Sudden Contract? Dead or Alive. That's always good. Ping him for two. And I guess I might as well temper grenades since I've got one, so we'll hit... Omega for two, we'll hit that breach for one, we'll hit Terminus Drain for one, I guess. Oh yeah, they all should have healed three. And we'll take out the Phosphor Fen, which unfortunately heals all these back to full. Draw a card. Trapper's Cap. When this card has two tokens, destroy it. Whenever Varfa would be dealt damage, you may reduce it by two, move a trap to any play area, and put a token on this card. That's real neat. I'm going to concentrate on Omega, though. Hit him for one with the Flare Gun, or who will hit him for five, six, seven, eight, seven. That's redankulous. Draw a card, and this ridiculous plus two damage goes away finally. Serpent does nothing. Although he should have healed two. Ember Dunes, he heals two. Everybody take one fire damage. All right, the lightning trap can go over there. I will not reduce that by two. Omega takes one. Oh no, they're immune to environment damage. That's fine. All right, he does not flip. Omega drone, that's fine. Let's hit everything here for one. Move that back. All right, he hits the highest for four. That is Chrono Ranger. Chrono Ranger can hit him back for four. And the Omega drone hits Captain Thunder and I guess Doc Havoc. Storm Strike. There we go, a useful power. He deals a target one melee and two lightning damage, which will actually be two and three. One, two, three, four, five to Omega, draw a card. Let's do search and rescue, I guess. I can discard a card, reveal the top three, put one in hand, bottom and trash, okay. Doc Havoc will heal Serpent back to full and hit Omega for two and draw a card. This is the last round of this game, possibly the last turn. Eye on the prize. Hit him for two, draw a card. Sudden Contract, what do I have left? Kill on sight, sure. Throw that on the Omega Drone, and then ping it for one. For the sake of letting Varf and Orhu finish Omega off, I will just hit the Omega Drone for two and draw a card. Okay, let's finish this off in style. Orhu see, Orhu do. 
or who uses a power that a hero other than Orhu or Varfa has access to. Treat that hero's name as Orhu and that hero's player as you. We're going to use the compound bow and he'll deal one and one, two and two, three and three, two and two, killing Omega and we win. Holy crap. So funny story, I was in the middle of editing, just a few minutes into editing this video, and realized that I messed up a major rule that could change the end of the game. So here I am three hours later coming back up, and I'm going to try and actually play this out the way it should have been. This is the autosave from Tabletop Simulator. It looks like it's at the end of Chrono Ranger's turn, because Omega's down to 4 HP. I guess he needs to draw a card. Maybe he already did, and he's only got one in hand. I don't remember. I do remember, A, that I have haven't been putting tokens on the flare guns, so I should probably get rid of it. B, I'm pretty sure I did or who see or who do. Had him use the compounded bow, so we hit Omega for uh, one projectile and one projectile, two and two, three and three, two and two, so that takes him down to zero. Now he's indestructible because there are still breaches in place, so we need to get the number of targets in play down to just him and something else at the very least. So I can't use a thing anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and just use Orhu's power. We want to get rid of the Terminus Drain because we don't want them healing, if at all possible. Three damage to that. Draw a card. Thankfully, we have Serpent on our side, so hopefully that will help make this go a little bit faster. Next is the Void Plays Elemental Awakening. Well, that sucks. So he's going to hit the two villain targets of the highest for two and two. So that's the uh, two breaches I haven't hit. Oh, wait, except they're immune to environment damage. Damn it. So much for that strategy. Everybody take one, except for, you know, the villain targets. Oh, I forgot to move the lightning trap also. And then we do this. So there's Reclusive Keeper. That's good, actually. All right, so Omega gets to go again for some reason. We've got another Cosmic Bomb. Actually, that's about the best thing he could have played. Number one, Lightning Trap's going to go off. So I will kill the Omega Drone, which means Chrono Ranger can draw three cards. And something I realized I was forgetting, Varfa dealt damage, so I can use Orhu's innate power will hit this guy for three, and then everything else for one. Move that back. So every non-villain target is taking four energy damage. We destroy one of our hero ongoing or equipment cards, and then somebody can deal themselves three fire damage to get rid of a breach. Oh, I sort of forgot about that one. We'll kill that. All right, so everybody take four. And now Chrono Ranger can use a power. We'll hit this breach for one and one. Who wants to hit themselves? I guess Chrono Ranger's going to do it. And we'll kill the augmentation portal because I kind of forgot it was there. So end of turn, he's going to hit the highest for three, and that's Varfa. Now I'll use the Trapper's Cap, reduce that by two, so she only takes one, and then yeah, might as well throw the trap over there, why not? And then that gets a token. All right, I'm going to play Thunderclap. First time Captain Thunder deals lightning damage each turn, he deals a target one sonic damage. Then we will go ahead and Storm Strike. So we're going to hit this for, let's see, one melee damage, and then the environment hits it for one fire damage, but it's immune. Then we hit it for two lightning damage and one sonic damage. Draw it card. Oh wait, I forgot to destroy one of my cards. Jim's hat, he can get it back. Let's play Doc's Flask again. Who? people need healing. I'm gonna heal Doc Havoc and Chrono Ranger for three each. Draw a card. All right, Displaced Armory, Jim's hat, ping that for one. I think I'm gonna bounty board because I think all the bounties are in the trash. Well, there's only two. How many on the deck? No executions. That's not helpful. So let's get these two back. Whole gang has been indispensable in this fight. Ping that for one and then hit it for two more. Draw a card. So I think this is in the bag. Let's do Trample, or who deals with two targets, two melee damage each. We rock that one, throw three at the Zone of Frailty, why not? And then the environment will hit it for one, because now it's not immune. I can destroy a non-target environment card. Eh, I'm fine with that. And we'll have him hit this for three, why not? And it gets hit for another fire damage, draw a card. All right, shuffling trash into the deck. Magma shows up. Serpent does nothing. Everybody take one. This includes the villain targets. Destroy that. Well, I should have gone at the start, but whatever. And he's hitting the second highest for two. And that is Doc or Chrono Ranger. Doc will take it. So now, start of the villain turn, there's two or fewer villain targets in place. So he flips. He has negative HP. And now we win. And I can splice this into the original playthrough and everything will be fine. So much for being the third heart villain in the game, I guess. <laughs> I doed it. Let's take a look at Varfa's deck. Worth noting, I forgot to read their setup card, but it's 
basically the normal thing, but Varfa being encapped is actually what flips this, and that gives you that to work with. Train Pet, when this card enters play, or who regains 3 HP, increase damage dealt by him by 1. Quiver, when this card has 3 tokens, destroy it. You know what, I kept forgetting to put tokens on the flare gun. I don't think I used it too many times, I might have used it exactly 3 times, uh, well, I'll figure it out in the edit. Search your deck or trash for aim shot, quick shot, or heart shot, put it into play, put a token on this card. What do those cards do? We'll find out. Camp out. Draw two cards. Varfra and Orhu each regain two HP. Move any number of your trap cards in play to other play areas. That's a very nice card. Explosive trap. Basically all the traps work the same, except that the lightning trap is the only one that lets you move it automatically. This one you have to use a power to move it. It does two fire damage. Mushroom trap does an irreducible toxic damage. Quick shot. Choose a play area. Varfra deals the target in that play area with the lowest HP to projectile damage. You may draw a card or play a card. That's very nice. Heart Shot. Varfa deals a target 3 irreducible projectile damage. If a villain character card is dealt damage this way, you may destroy a villain ongoing card. Roar. Or who deals each non-hero target 1 sonic damage. Reduce damage dealt by each target dealt damage this way by 1 until the start of your next turn. That's cool, I haven't seen that one before. Aimed Shot. Varfa deals a target 4 projectile damage. If that target entered play since the start of your last turn, return this card to your hand. Oh, that's cool. Bear Trap. This one deals the target in that player with the lowest HP 3 melee damage. Hmm. Interesting. And that is it. You can find Varfa and Orhu on Vad Sky's Sentinels mod. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for showing up in chat. Tabletop Simulator, the Reaver Sentinels called in DLC. Vad Sky Sentinels mod. Let's like, create the game's prize. Please support the official release and flip. Now I'm going to ask you, last week I had talked about the Definitive Edition variants that I made, and I want to know if it is worth me using the ones for Mad Bomber Blade and Cosmic Omnitron, because while mechanically they're very different from the enhanced versions, they really aren't really any different. Those villains both have variants in Enhanced, and they're, you know, they're the same thing, so I kind of feel like they're worth skipping. 